Welcome to this session. We'll be looking at um, the secret of a growing community, case study of Wikimedia User Group Nigeria. My name is Shola Olane. I start from here. In 2015, the Global Reach conducted a phone survey in Nigeria, and uh, it was concluded that only 21% Nigerians are aware of Wikipedia. And that brought us to where we started thinking how we can bring this percentage up. And I show you a photo of a ladder. For us as a community, with little or no resources, we agreed the only way we can work with the ecosystem is to align our mission with organizations around us that share the same objective with what we intend to get. And we describe partnership there are so many definitions of partnership, but we describe partnership as the ladder that connects the dreams, which is our goals, to the reality. That's where we're going. And this presentation will show us how we've been able to get to where we are today. Though we're still going, but where we are today. Now, our key goal is to take Wikipedia, or Wikipedia-related sister project, to the doorstep of every Nigerian. And if you, you can imagine when you have a 21% of over 200 million population aware of Wikipedia. We factors, what are the things that we need to take this 21% to something more than what we have? Now, before we get to where we are, we need to identify what are the obstacles? That's why you can see a pathway. The pathway shows we need to get to somewhere. How do we get there? Some of the challenges we have is funding. As I've said, we are a user group with little or no resources. Volunteering in Africa is quite a challenge for people to volunteer their time, and you need to understand where you need to fend for yourself, doing everything for yourself. And after getting a little bit of resources, you can put that resources on in volunteering. We have to look at how we can bring down this barrier to ensure that people can put in their time for free into bridging, I mean, into adding to the sum of all human knowledge. Then, issue of network, yes. In most cases, when you walk up to a, a partner, ask them for content. The question they will ask, what is going to be in there for them? You should be able at every point in time to be able to tell them what they stand to benefit from every partnership. And that's some of the challenges we do have. For some organizations, they need visibility. You should be able to let them understand that having their contents on Wikipedia with over 85 billion viewers on a monthly basis, they can as well have so much people seeing what they have. Those are some of the ways we've been using to get some of our partners. And that's why I say the difference between the beginning and the ending are these challenges. All these challenges, and many of them, are the difference between when we started with just 21% and to up to where we are right now. These are the, the difference. Now, how did we get over the differences? The first thing is we need awareness. We are just at one corner of over 36 states in the country. How can we get whole, the whole of the 36 states? We also need to understand that not everyone is on the internet. Yes, 
Even when they are on the internet, you need to also let them understand how to get to what you want them to see on the internet. And that's where the awareness comes up. How do we get there? We understand that in Nigeria, a whole lot of people listen to radio. And we decided to partner with a radio station that can help at every point in time to take out the gospel of Wikipedia to everyone. And we partner with a radio station called WFM, wherein we bring in people to talk about Wikipedia, we bring in people to talk about women, and quite a whole lot of projects. And that has actually brought quite a whole lot of awareness about Wikipedia in Nigeria. Then, when we started as a user group, we started with just three members. And you need to also understand that just three members is about community. Just three persons can do it. We need to look for people that share the same objective. People that want to help in closing, the, bridging the gap of local content on Wikipedia. We talk to students and we bring in people together and we started the collaboration. Advocacy. There are so many laws in the country that is impairing into most of what we want to achieve. For example, we need content from libraries, from museums. Most government works in Nigeria are under copyright. We need to talk to the government to release it, and that's where the advocacy comes in. Many of our content, though they are in public domain, because of the time that they were released, but well, yet the government still sits on it as if it is still on the copyright. We need to talk today. Now we started with National Assembly, and that's ASAP, and that is the chairman of the Senate Committee. We have started this year because of Indaba. Next year we're going to start a major project with the National Assembly of Nigeria, wherein we some of the bills that's been released by the government, we can also have them in commons and also help with some other policies that will help. For example, this, some of the copyright policies, we want to see how it's actually going to favor the open movement in Nigeria. Glam. We have, uh, we signed an MOU with Nigeria Tourism Development Corporation, and um, there are quite a lot of things happening with them right now. With this, they are going to be major partner to Wiki in Daba. They're going to take a whole lot of our, our uh, many the delegates coming from Idaba on tour of Nigeria. And this as a result of the partnership that we have with the Nigerian Tourism Development Corporation. Then these are some of our achievements. This is just some of our achievements. We have actually achieved quite a lot, but I'm actually going to share some of this with you. We have the Wiki Fan Club in eight universities. Now I told you we need to move across the state, 36 states of 200 million people without resources, very little or no resources. What do we do? We begin to have formal relationship with universities. We understand that for, for, from the survey that was conducted by the Global Reach Unit, we understood that 46% of people that are actually aware of, of Wikipedia, 46% of them are students. That actually gave us a niche that the the, the best set of people that we can actually talk to are the students. That's where we started this. And by now, we've been able to go from 21% to over 75% awareness in terms of Wikipedia in Nigeria, right now. Because virtually, all universities in Nigeria actually want us to come and have a wiki club. But we don't have the resources. But now, we've been able to have eight universities where we have people learning about the university. I'm sorry about Wikipedia and sister projects. We started with just three members. Right now, we have gone to over 500 members across the country. We have eight states in Nigeria where we have a hub, where we have Wikimedia meet up at every point in time. We also mentioned the NTDC. Over 5,000 5, images were released under Creative Commons license just because of the partnership. And um, I mentioned the 21% so apologies for the <laughs> Then I also mentioned right now we've grown from just one user group to over, I mean three, I mean four user groups in the country. You've been able to see how we started from
from just the 21%. And that's why I said, the ladder through which we're able to get to where we started onto where we are is in partnership. We're able to identify within the ecosystem those organizations that can actually help us to take, I mean, to get to where we are as in time of our objectives. That is just in a nutshell about the secret of a growing community. We can't do it all. We can only do it, we can get there just by identifying those people, organizations that share the same objective with us within the ecosystem. Um, I think with this little presentation, I really want to get more from you. At least with what I have shared, I also want to get more from you. I am thinking of probably we can have a two class where we we'll talk among ourselves what actually works within your community so that actually we can also add it to what we have done when I get, I mean, when I return to the country. And also, with what you have add, added to them, we can also give it to the host. Perhaps it can also help within the UK Arabia community. Can we have a two class or two group? Okay, we should do one, two. Two groups, yes. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. One. Okay. Okay, good. Can we have the one? The two from here? The one from there? One from there. One. Yeah, one here. Okay. Two, two. No, no, one. Come to one. Come to one. Come to one. For example, Hamid talked about uh, how in Tunisia, um, the, in the past, there were workshops uh, done so that we can get more, more volunteers uh, in order for the user group to grow in, in the future. But then also yeah. potentially tap into the resources of universities and have ambassadors to universities so that this can grow. Change the copyright law. 
us what happens in that. We still forget um, the images of our slave trade because the copyright law says that it can, we can only publish. Hello. So, uh, as for our group, group one, uh, 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 we had uh, two uh, two contributors from from Algeria and from Ghana. And uh, Bashunda from Algeria, uh, as far as partnerships are concerned, he said that um, they, they, uh, that the, the Algerian chapter had has made uh, partnerships with universities. And um, this goes this way. So at first they, uh, they they make a plan, and then they set the goals for the partnership. And um, for instance, with uh, Wiki Monuments, uh, you have to collaborate with the government, right? And uh, he said that they also have a partnership with the startup, uh, which is great. And the, the, the aim of the partnership with the startup is to translate articles from English into Arabic for Arabic Wikipedia. Uh, they also had uh, sort of programs to train the trainer. Right? Train the trainer. Training for trainers. Training for trainers. Yeah. And finally, he said that uh, they focus on, uh, like, when, when they in order for them to make partnerships, they, they focus on win-win uh, partnerships with governments and other stakeholders. Um, as for Felix from Ghana, is that the right name? Right? Felix, okay. Felix. Felix, not Felix. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Um, they have a similar, uh, kind of a similar uh, approach to it. They first they, uh, you, uh, guys identify the near needs at first. Um, and you gave an example of uh, how you uh, wrote a letter to the government, um, asking them how what, what what would be the ways to change copyright laws, because uh, you said that um, in order to to have like uh, the rights, for instance, of an author of a work to be released, you have to wait at, at 70, 70 years, which is uh, according to you a very long time, right? So, um, yeah, and you also had uh, partnerships with students, uh, university students, and on top of that you had um, what, what you call wiki clubs. Is it, is it a new idea? Uh, wiki clubs are clubs for university students, and you gave an example of how you uh, present, uh, how you present the OSM uh, OpenStreetMap uh, uh, projects. To uh, for students to add to link between places and and, 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 and content online, yeah. and that was that's basically it. Thank you very much. Let's listen to the group two. Now, group two. Hello. 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 Thank you, Shola. Hello, everyone. I'm representing group two. Uh, I'm going to summarize the, um, the gist of the conversation that we had in group two. There's a, a nice mixture of newcomers and uh, seasoned Wikimedians, uh, so it was a nice little discussion. We talked about some of the challenges of uh, um, maintaining and retaining volunteers. Um, there's excitement at first through efforts with workshops. Uh, volunteers come in and then uh, there is a drop-off. And so uh, the drop-off needs to be understood uh, and the 
drop-off needs to be remedied. Uh, and it's customizable and it's uh, specific to each different community. Um, so there are models that we can maybe replicate, but it really comes down to the understanding of what are some of the local challenges that need to be addressed. Um, the other ideas uh, and the common uh, theme is around ambassadorship at universities, which is similar to what you talked about with fan clubs at universities. So I think this seems to be something that is a common denominator that can be discussed across uh, cultures and across languages and across communities. Uh, the idea of uh, building trust and building partnerships so it can reach a higher power, which sometimes is the government, uh, is, is, uh, is some, something that was raised. And so uh, having more of a global partnership approach with the government can potentially open many doors um, for a wider awareness and wider rollout across countries. Uh, having local partnerships um, around history and, and uh, photography so that there's more coverage um, and partnerships that work and lead into commons. Uh, giving voices to the new uh, youth and the new volunteers. Um, uh, and then the, the idea of um, explaining uh, that um, there are many different ways you can contribute and it's uh, not uh, bottlenecking or limiting uh, the options for people to, uh, to be a part of something. Uh, it's very helpful to make them feel welcome and to maintain their interests. Um, and then um, the challenge and the reality of the fact that Arabic content is very, very mis minuscule compared to others, and not just on Wikipedia and Wikimedia, but on the internet as a whole. Uh, so this creates um, a potential, a positive potential for growth. Uh, and I think that uh, having this forum here at Wiki Arabia could uh, help fuel some of the hunger to grow this. Uh, and I think that's it. I mean, Okay, thank you very much, Jackie. We, we combined two results and probably give it to the host. Probably they might share it on the meta, but some of us don't want to take a clip from it. Thank you all for coming.